Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Monday and we're back at it. It's December 19th, 2022. Number one, the House Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol met over the weekend to discuss potential criminal referrals which could be passed on to the Department of Justice. And they will meet Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern to vote on potential recommendations to the Justice Department to prosecute suspects for their roles. Among the charges the committee is expected to recommend are insurrection, obstruction of an official proceeding of Congress, and conspiracy to defraud the United States government. The bipartisan committee, made up of seven Democrats, and two Republicans is expected to vote on its final report and potential referrals Monday before releasing its final report Wednesday, December 21st. Number two, history was made by Harvard University last week with the announcement that for the very first time in its almost 400-year history, a black woman will lead the prestigious university. Dr. Claudine Gay received her PhD in government from Harvard and returned as a professor in 2006. Currently, she is the Dean of Harvard's Faculty of Arts and Scientists, and she will assume her new position on July 1st, 2023. This daughter of Haitian immigrants is regarded as a leading voice on the issue of American political participation. Number three, California will stop making companies pay employees who cannot work because they caught the coronavirus while on the job. For the past two years, the California workplace regulators have tried to slow the spread of the coronavirus by requiring infected workers to stay home while also guaranteeing them that they will still get paid. But Thursday, the California Occupational Safety and Health Standards Board voted to end that rule in 2023, in part because that rule has just become more difficult to enforce force. Number four, on Halloween of 2022, field training officer Jane Nguyen and his trainee officer Y. Profet responded to reports of a public indecency in the northwest area of Atlanta, Georgia neighborhood. Officers found a black man wearing pants too loose to cover his body, and instead of writing the man a citation, Officer Jane Nguyen took him to Walmart to buy him some clothes. Body camera footage shows Officer Nguyen walking into the store, picking out a new shirt and pants and a pair of comfortable shoes after the man told him his feet hurt. Number five, it's Christmas time, the season for giving, and here's a gift you can give to someone and it won't cost you a dime. On Ministry Monday, may we recommend the gift of forgiveness. In the Bible, forgiveness is a release or a dismissal of something. You are letting that thing go. There are four characteristics to biblical forgiveness. Read more about it in today's Ministry Monday column in the What You Need to Know newsletter. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. The less negativity you allow, the more peace you will have. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with sports agents you've not seen before. Rashida Liberty, Leslie Martin, and Joyvin Malvin Griffin. A conversation incredible with these ladies. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.